Thank you very much for joining us today for this yoga session designed for climbers. So I hope you enjoy. If you do, please press a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also share with your friends if you find this session useful as it really helps my channel to grow and I super appreciate that. I would also like to invite you to join me on a yoga retreat this September, which I'm running in south of Spain, in the mountains, in El Toro. It will be both yoga, so two classes per day, as well as some adventure activities and including rock climbing on the real rock. So please check out the website, which I will put in the description below this video. And let me know if you have any questions by sending an email or writing a comment under this YouTube video. So today we will start seated and you will need a yoga block or a book or a pillow, anything, any object that you have nearby. So first, let's just take a few moments to arrive to the body and to leave everything behind. So you could close your eyes for a moment or just soften the gaze and look somewhere in front of you. Imagine that you want to lengthen your spine up towards the sky and roll your shoulders up, back and down a few times to open up your chest and to create more space for your lungs to breathe in oxygen. Then bring your attention to your breath and feel how you're inhaling through the nose, how you're filling your lungs with oxygen, that your lungs are expanding all directions. And then on your exhalation, without hurry, exhale everything out and softening the chest, the belly. Let's do two more times. Inhale through the nose. And exhale everything out. One more time, inhale through the nose and then open your mouth perhaps and exhale everything out. <sighs> Wonderful. Then gently open your eyes and then grab a, your object and put it on top of your hand. So we will do shoulder rotations, it's called teacups. If you have done my shoulder love video before, you are familiar with that or perhaps you're familiar with this move from some other uh, place. So uh, we will try to warm up our shoulder joint. So let's start with the right hand. The book, the object is on your right palm. Then bring the object towards your body and then up around. So as if we are making these spirals and imagine that you really want to make these spirals as big as you can and really controlled as well. So of course you could hold the object with your little finger and your thumbs so to support it, but I think it's slightly more fun not to hold it. So we just put it on top of the palm. It's slightly more challenging, but this way we can really um, pay the attention to the object, try not to drop it. Okay, so now while we make these circles, let's slowly start to stand up. So first perhaps coming into the squat, without using your hands perhaps, while you still make the spirals. Then we are in the squat. So over here, I would really like you to explore the movement. So just to freestyle, whatever feels good, maybe moving your hips, moving your legs, and then slowly standing up as well. And then we will start to make, so legs can go wide. And let's do the drop knees as well while we make these rotations. So the idea is to really let go of any restrictions in the body to warm up by trying to move everything. So with the drop knees, so both of the knees go to one side and then we lower one knee down and then we come back up and then to the other side. And then at the same time, continue moving the object so doing these spirals. So a few more times like that with the drop knees. And last one. Come back into the center and then put the object onto your other hand. And let's do again the same move, the rotations, trying to make the move really controlled. You could also close your eyes and to really tune into the body to feel the body from within so this this move you could do with a little weight so it would be slightly harder um, you might feel it more in your shoulder shoulder so again you decide 
or maybe even like with two blocks, two books to make it e to make the move more challenging. And then again, let's make our way down into the yoga mat. So perhaps first in the squat position. And then whenever you're ready, putting the sit bones down and continuing with the circles a few more times. And last one. And then come back into the center, put the object somewhere next to you. Let's meet back into the seated position and then lift your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bend your arms, elbows towards your ribs. Let's do it two more times, harmonizing the movement with the breath. So with your inhalation, you lift. With your exhalation, you bend. And last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Then let's meet into the tabletop position. So hands can go underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And a few cat and cows. Inhale, you gently arch. Exhale, round your spine. So when you round your spine, your chin can go towards your chest, shoulder blades away from each other. And a few more times like that. And again, try not to hurry. Um, continue focusing on your breath so your attention is on your inhalations and exhalations and then at the same time exploring the body exploring how the movement feels in the body so good job on taking this time for yourself to move so to give some medicine for the body some love and care last cycle and then come back into the center then extend your right leg behind you point your right foot try to keep the whole body engaged and then we move the right leg to the right side to activate our right gluteus medius and then bring it back behind you if this is slightly too much you can bend the leg and move the leg bent so one option but if that feels okay, then extend the right leg and move the leg extended. Try to make the movement controlled. So don't hurry. Maybe even hold it for a moment when you move it to the side. You can also flex the foot and just, again, try to notice the difference, perhaps, how the movement feels when you flex it or when you point it. So whole body awareness, moving slowly. So over here, you should really feel your gluteus medius working, which is, I have mentioned in my other videos, but gluteus medius is called one of the most lazy muscles in the lower body. But it's, even if it's lazy, it's very important. Uh, it stabilizes our pelvis. So every time we walk, so every time we lift one foot up, we need strong gluteus medius to support our pelvis. So just to give us stability and support. Okay, last time to the side, hold it there, maybe pulse it a few moments, inhale. And then on the exhalation, lower your right foot down. With inhalation, lift yourself up, and then we bend the right leg. And perhaps the right knee goes above your right ankle, and then straighten it. Two more times, bend the right leg while you continue to open up the right knee back. So opening up the hips and then come back. Last one, bend, come back to the side, then lift your right leg up and just a little moment for balance. You can close your eyes, this is super easy, just to challenge yourself. And then bring the right foot into the front of your yoga mat also hover it for a moment and then lower your right knee, uh, right foot, bend your right knee, lower the left hand next to your right foot, tuck your back toes under, lift the back knee up and then spine twist, right arm reaches up towards the sky. So we twist our spine, chest is looking to the right side, we really try to reach up 
And then let's make big circles with the right arm from the right shoulder. So as if you're drawing a big zero. Again, if you have done the other classes with me, you know that I really like this move. And I really like to do this move controlled and as if I just want to draw the biggest, biggest circle as I can. And then I try to make it slow. So then the move is controlled. Also trying not to forget your back knee. So the left leg is strong. And last big circle with your right arm. And then lower your right hand down. Then lift your right foot. The right foot goes back into plank pose. You can lower the knees down or stay in a plank pose. Shoulder blades are pushing away from each other. Let's take an inhalation. And then on the exhalation, lower the knees down, meeting back into the tabletop position. Stay where you are. I just swap sides so I have space for my left leg. But then extend your left leg behind you. You can point the foot, hip level, and then left leg goes to the left side and go back. And continue to do so. Again, try not to hurry. Try to make the move really controlled. Explore where you feel it in your body. Few more. Check your breath. And last one to the left side and then hold it there for a moment. Maybe pulse for a few seconds. Inhale. And then on the exhalation, lower the left foot. Lift your upper body up and then we bend the left leg. At the same time, trying to open up the left knee as if you want to bring it back. So hips can be slightly open. So we bend the left leg and then straighten it. Bend it and straighten it two more times. Bend it, straighten it. Last one, bend it, straighten it. Lift your left leg up and then bring your left foot into the front. Maybe close your eyes and then lower your left foot down. Right hand next to your left foot, lift your back knee up and the left arm reaches up towards the sky in a spine twist. First we lengthen and then let's start to make these big circles from the left shoulder. Again, drawing these big circles with the left fingertips, making the rotations very controlled. Check your breath, try not to hold the breath, allow it to flow and two more circles with your left hand and last one, then lower your left hand down underneath your left shoulder, lift your left foot back into a plank pose, let's stay here for a moment, inhale and then on the exhalation lower the knees down. Extend your arms in front of you, lower your forearms down, so as if you'd like to stretch your armpits, and then lower your forehead down onto the yoga mat. And then at the same time, so you want to lower your head down into the yoga mat and your chest as well, while keeping more or less your hips um, on top of your knees, so in line with your knees. Come back to the breath in this position. So feel your inhalation. Feel your exhalation. And then slowly come out of the pose. Tuck your toes underneath you or keep them untucked, whatever is comfortable for you. This might be too much. And then with the inhalation, extend your arms up towards the sky and then bend your arms. Same what we did in the beginning. Two more times. With inhalation, you lengthen. So coming back to the breath and then exhale, you bend. 
Last one, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend. Now lift your knees up, lower the heels down, or stay on your tiptoes. And then perhaps you should be in the back or more or less in the back of your yoga mat. If you're not there, walk uh, to the back of your yoga mat. And then with the pistol squats, we will walk to the front uh, of the yoga mat. So uh, we put the weight to one of the foot and then extend one of the legs forward. You can hold yourself with your hands, then bring the right foot slightly in front of the other foot and then change the weight. We do the opposite leg and continue to do so while we walk into the front. So as if it's like a duck pistol squat walk. And whenever you are in the front, open up your feet slightly wider. And then let's meet in the forward fold. So lift your hips up higher, straighten your legs or keep your legs slightly bent, whatever is more comfortable. So your hands can go on your shins, on your thighs, wherever you'd like, or just dangling in the air and really relaxing everything. Your chin is also going towards your chest, so the back of your neck is long. You can also sway to the left and to the right. Then bend your knees and with inhalation sweep your arms up toward the sky and then straighten your legs and then lower your arms by the side of the body. Then roll your shoulders up, back and down a few times. Again, to relax the shoulders, to give space for the chest, for the lungs to breathe in oxygen. With your inhalation, lift your arms up towards the sky and with your exhalation, you fold forward and then inhale straight back, hands by the side of the body or on top of your thighs. Take a breath in once again in this position and exhale, hands down, your right foot goes back behind you into a high lunge and then inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. Then bring your left arm back behind you to touch your right hip or to touch your left thigh and then right arm up and then a little side bend to feel a stretch from the right side of your hand, your fingers to your tiptoes. Breath in, breath out, then lower both of your hands down, lower, bring your left foot back behind you, knees down, lower your whole body down. With inhalation, gently lift your chest up, shoulders up, slightly supporting yourself with your hands, your neck is long, inhale, and on the exhalation, downward looking dog. Inhale, right leg goes up and then right foot into the front of your yoga mat. Arms can be hovering above the ground. Your left foot meets your right, bend your knees and with inhalation, arms reaches up and then lower arms by the side of the body. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back, arms of your choice. Stay here and one more cycle of breath in this position. Inhale, exhale, hands down. Now your left foot goes back and whenever you're ready, lift your arms up towards the sky. Then your right arm goes back to touch your left hip or your left thigh and then side bend into the right side while keeping your right leg, so the front leg bent, hips square, looking into the front of your room or wherever you are, breath in and out. One more, inhale. And then on the exhalation, hands down, right foot back, plank pose. Again, inhalation. On the exhalation, start to lower your body down. And then let's meet in a sphinx pose. So elbows underneath your shoulders, hands shoulder distance apart as well. And then Push your chest forward, your neck is long. And then at the same time, you can gently engage your kneecaps. So maybe your kneecaps gently lift one centimeter above the ground. 
while you push the tops of your feet down onto the yoga mat. Breath in, breath out, and then let's meet back into a downward looking dog. So hands underneath your shoulders, downward looking dog. Left leg goes up, left foot into the front of the yoga mat, arms by the side of the body, right foot meets your left, bend your knees, and with inhalation, arms up, exhale, arms by the side of the body. Then sit back behind you, so lower your sit bones down. Let's meet in a boat pose for a moment. So boat pose, lifting the legs, shins parallel to the ground, arms by the side of the body. Just a few moments, take an inhalation, exhale, one more time, inhale, and on the exhalation, cross your legs or sit in a comfortable seated position, then lift one of your arms up and then side bend. For example, I lifted my right arm, side bend to the left, breath in, breath out, and swapping sides. Other arm up and then side bend to the other side, feeling the stretch on your side body. Come back into the center, take your fingertips and massage your temples, sitting tall and confident. Almost finished today. And then my favorite rain massage, so take your fingertips and gently tap your head, your scalp with your fingertips, so as if the rain is falling. So this way, massaging our head. Take a breath in. And then exhale. So good job, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me today for this yoga practice. I hope you enjoyed. If you found it useful, please press a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, or even better, share with your friends if you know that somebody might like this session or any other session of mine. Um, and also, as mentioned in the beginning of the session, I'm running a yoga retreat in El Toro, so check out all the details in the description below. So it would be super nice to meet some of you in real life as well. So have a beautiful week ahead, and I will see you or you see me next time.